great weather, great day at school, yes? Yes. yes. You always find something good during the day, yes? Yes. All right, well, let's, let's hear what, what your one good thing. We know there's many good things, but let's have one good thing that happened today. Oh, it's beautiful outside. It's it's beautiful outside. Found out that I got an A in my test. A in your test. I got to see my aunt. Got to see your aunt. It was nice out, so I got to play basketball. Awesome. I got an A on my science test. I have no homework tonight. I got to get a break in school and go outside. I got an 100 on my math test. I got to play games in science class. That's awesome. Now, throughout the day, how many good things can we find? Hundreds. Yeah, hundreds, right? Hundreds, right? If they don't, is that monumental? Yes, getting good grades, that's, that's monumental. But does it have to be huge stuff? No, little things throughout the day. It's going to make a great day, right? All right, today is like a regular practice. We'll work on our, we'll work on all our drills and focus on our drills. We'll have fun while we're doing it, as we always do. What makes a fun effort, right? Make your own fun here, guys. Okay? Make your own fun. Don't let us dictate how the practice goes. This is your practice. Right? Right? Push mine. Let's start with our three-minute drill, guys, or a shorter version of it. So put your gloves, gloves down. All right, first thing we're going to do, men, is drop our metal bricks. Any worries about the past or things about the future. So maybe you didn't get an A in that. Today. You think you didn't do, do well. Well, nothing to do about it now, so let it go. Drop that brick off your shoulder. Let it go. Maybe you're looking forward to tonight. You're going to have pizza and movie night with your family. That's great, but you're not doing that right now. All you can do right now is focus on baseball. So with that, to brick too. Let it go. So feel any bricks that you have, whatever they might be. You had a disagreement with your mom. Your legs feel a little sore. All those are bricks. Drop them off so you're free to be right here, right now, in the present moment. So go ahead and do that. We all got it. We all get metal bricks, it's no shame. It's release Be right here, right now. Three deep breaths, guys. Breathe in on a count of eight. Blow it out in ten count. This time I'll count with it. Let's inhale on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. In, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How do you feel after those deep breaths? Great. Yeah, we're telling more than great. What else? Relax. Yeah, relax. In a moment. Awesome. All right, now close your eyes and visualize your practice today. Go on just the way you want. See yourself in perfect position to feel that ground ball and fire at your first base. See yourself swinging our hitting drills. Put the sweet spot on the ball over and over again. See yourself face one, sharp and crisp and cut the corners and real fast and just the way that coach shows you how to do it. See yourself doing everything just the way you want. All right, eyes open. Now fill yourself with self-talk. I feel great today. I'm excited about practice. What a great day to prove today I'm going to dominate. So take a few seconds to fill yourself with positive self-talk. Can they tell you, tell yourself you will do? I'm going to play great. I feel awesome. I can do anything out here. The more you tell yourself that, the more likely it happens. Okay, guys, the last thing we want you to do is get big. What does that mean? Get big. Jake. Uh, keep your chest out, shoulders back. Be confident. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Coach Ferris. All right, now we're going to go over throwing. Right? Throwing. Skills for throwing. When we're throwing, we want to be lined up to our target, meaning our shoulder, our hip, our head, all to our target. Just like when we hit, everything, all that is lined up to our target, we want that lined up to our target as well. Right? The grip. When we grip the baseball, when we're, when we're playing catch, we want what's called a four seam. So we see that horseshoe right there? You want to go across that horseshoe right there with those two fingers. Okay? Thumb is underneath, on the side, not directly underneath, but kind of on the side. Ring finger is on the side as well. When we grip the baseball, we don't want it back in our, our palm. Right? Some of you guys might still have small hands, so we might, we might get back there. But we want a little space in between that ball and the palm. Right? So we're lined up to our target if I'm playing tough catch with Jake, Jake. I'm lined up. I'm here, hip, shoulder, my head all pointed. 
Now what's important is when we, when we throw, we use our legs. Here's where our strength is, right? We get here. When it step towards our target, drive, throw, follow through. Then we'll get back into our position. Make that catch, then we'll get set up and do the same. Boom, and then boom. So right now, I want everybody to pretend that I'm your target. Spread up, spread up, spread up, spread up. get set up. I'm your target like you're going to throw to me. Bring your shoulder get set up to me. Bring your shoulder hip. Bring your shoulder hip, let's get like that to me. And go. Drive your feet and go. Drive and go. More legs, boy. More legs. Drive those legs. Drive. Drive, drive, drive. Drive on the feet. Drive on the feet. Again. Two legs. Go. 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 Again. One time. Go. Use your legs. Right now, what I want you to do, grab a partner, grab a ball of the partner, spread out.